It's like it's 2021 and here I am. Hello. Watching in SoCal, Montreal. Who else is here? Hello, everybody. It's me, Michael Friedberg. Hope you guys are all doing well. We're going to go and get started in just a few minutes. But if you join the chat or you're watching, you want to just, uh, you know, shout out to somebody. That'd be great. Let us all know that you're here. Mm. Just wetting my face in preparation for a shave of the ages. Well, let's not get crazy. Shave for the ages. <laughs> All right. Let me just wet my brush through in preparation. HD Shaves, how are you? All right. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? People will start rolling in slowly but steadily. I hope everybody's doing well, by the way, before we get started. I hope you're all healthy and safe and sound and you and your loved ones are doing okay. I hope that things are returning slowly to normal wherever you might be. Maybe you've been vaccinated, maybe you haven't, maybe you're in the schedule, maybe you know people have been vaccinated and you're all jealous because they got theirs and you haven't had yours yet. Don't worry, I know that it's coming. All right, let's talk products for today, shall we not? Today is gonna be, hello, Mike H, how are you? Hello from Sweden, hello from beautiful Chapel Hill, Sweden and Norway. I've been watching, by the way, a number of sewer storming videos and I'm amazed at how many people open up that can and then find themselves completely shocked at how terrible that stuff smells. Hello from Italy. Hey, how are you? Hope all is going well. I should say ciao. Buongiorno. Buonasera. Okay, today it's going to be from Poland. Hello. I should say Cin dobre. Wait, pass a kidney stone. Go Habs. Well, maybe this will make you feel better. This is the solution for kidney stones, I've heard. Okay, for today's soap, it's gonna be this delightful Williams Expert Ice Blue. This was sent by Jake, who I think is a long time viewer. Hello from India. How are you? Hope all is going well. It's pretty, pretty, must be late. It's like 11 and a half hours after where we are right now. Um, it is Williams, Tim Sprower. That is indeed true. Kalis how are you? Hope all is going well. I should say the weather here today is Oreo. Um, yeah, this is the William Shave Cream Ice Blue, lightly mentholated. This is the Spanish and Portuguese version. It does, in fact, say crema de afietar hidratante. Imagine that's, you know, hydrating. Um, and it does say, in fact, right on the label for a shaving brush. And I'm not one to go against that advice. So that's going to be the shaving cream for today. The razor is one that I've not used for a long time. And I'd sort of forgotten about it. I'd used it, I think, once on video. It seemed like a bit of a bit of a shtick, but I will say uh, it's going to be the Yaki single edge razor, which is really just taking a double edge blade, snapping it in half, and then putting it into this half head. So I'm going to be doing that for today. Let me just get it assembled. Half the blade, which I have snapped in half using my almost superhuman-like strength. Many struggle to snap those in half. I just did it like it was nothing. Um, okay, so there is the head assembled. It is basically just those two pieces. It is a half head. Um, I am going to put a washer on here in part because the bottom of the head is actually not flat. Because it's only half the head, there isn't actually a flat surface between the two halves. So when the washer goes on and the handle gets screwed on, and this is one of my favorites, these brass handles from Yaki with this very nice knurling and cool colors, it creates a single edge, a single edge razor. So let me just, I'm just screwing it on and I'm gonna give it a good bit of a little twist. So the other nice thing about this is, as you can see, there is no overhang of which I am a big fan. I like the way that, that works out. Um, yeah, at first I was like, well, why would you make this single edge razor? Because really wanna just have the rest of the razor here. And if it's good, it'll be twice as good. Well, I will talk about the razor when we start shaving with this because those are some interesting things that have come to light during the last couple of weeks. And I've used that a lot. I will also talk about some of the uh, the other razors I've used in the meantime. Some have gone well, others have gone, shall we say, rather poorly. Today's brush is gonna be this beautiful brush from Dogwood Handcrafts, in part because Stephen Joyner in a recent live on Instagram when I asked, hey, uh, are you still making any of these longer handles, said, no one wants your stupid, weird, long handle, Friedberg. Like, really? Really? Nobody else wants one of these cool-looking, super ergonomic, amazing brush handles? Hmm. Huh. I don't believe it. 
from Saloniki, Greece. Well, this is Gregorius. Gregorius, if you go to Saloniki and then you go to the closest village on the beach, Agiatrias or Agiatriara, I have spent many, many summers there, in fact. All right, I'm going to wet my face. I'm going to put some shaving cream on. And let's see how this goes. Tim Spire, by the way, I hope you're really doing well. Long time no speak. All right, I'm going to use a bit more of this than I would normally. This is a metal tube, which by the way, for me is fraught with a little bit of like, uh, you know, the thing about the metal tube is that they tend to bend and crimp and fold in these weird ways and then they split. This soap is lightly mentholated. You have to use quite a bit if you want to get like an actual menthol sensation out of it. Yeah, well, Gregorius, my parents would very much like to have like a big reunion there. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that, Tim. Yeah, if we can make it back to Agia Trias, that'd be, that'd be great. It'd be a really fun trip again to see many, many of our old friends there. We have a lot of friends. Well, that's not true. We have fewer friends now. Yeah, the, the tube key. Uh, people have, of course, over time, people have passed. And unfortunately, people that we have known in Greece for decades and decades, but it happens. Okay, I'm gonna use my Dogwood Handcraft B7 Declaration Grooming Knot in what I think might be the world's best handle shape. I, I just, that's just me. All right, I'm gonna start with a relatively dry brush in part because this cream, like many of these creams, does not take to a lot of water right off the bat. B7 knot is very, very dense. Lovely soft tips. It is not a brush, not designed to splay easily. A little bit jelly. Yeah, I really like the handle, actually. I mean, people can make fun of it, but that's totally fine because actually it really doesn't matter, but I personally have larger hands, but it's nice to be able to hold basically the entire brush handle without that artificial separator. All right, I'm gonna add a touch of water, just a touch, and we'll keep building up. Now, if you're wondering, is this like an amazing Williams standout cream? Well, no, this is a, a very standard, what I would call kind of a base, commercial cream, you get exactly what you expect, which is actually quite a nice level of slickness, but you're missing all the kind of normal protective fattiness of the current artisan soaps. That's just not there and it's not meant to be there. Two and a half days worth of growth, something like that. I shaved Friday, yeah, I shaved Friday morning. I was shaving every day of the week for sure, and I usually shave on Saturdays and Sundays as well, but I skipped once just for this delightful live shave. Okay, so this half head razor, I remember thinking last time, this seems like a bit of a faddish kind of thing, like why do the half? But I have to say, I have been absolutely stunned. I mean, like no joke stunned at just how excellent the shaves have been with this razor. Very smooth, very easy, very, very comfortable, and if BBS is 100 out of zero to 100, I'm getting easily between a 95 and a 97 kind of thing. Ah, in beautiful Poznan, Poland. Yes, well, I would love to go back there at some point. I hope I will be back very soon. So many friends there, love the city, great place to go. Yeah, this has one very distinct advantage, and I'm not exactly sure how this works in terms of the head geometry, but the way the blade is held in there, it is very, very rigid, really tightly controlled, no blade chatter, very little blade sort of edge feel, nothing naked about it. The level of aggression is really quite low. I mean, you can feel the blade, but... But comfort level is really excellent. It's one of those razors that just feels very, very safe, very effective, and very easy in use. It 
It's not shockingly efficient, another person from Greece. Well, I should say, Gadi Spera a second time. Yeah, this is just a shockingly easy razor to use. Hello from Bangladesh. Hello, Surav, how are you? All the way from Bangladesh, really? Really? Or is that where your heart is? <laughs> Yeah, I tried this razor in part because some of the other razors I had used, and I thought, let me drag this one out to you. I haven't used it in quite a while. I'll talk about those in just a second. But yeah, very easy to use, comfortable. And cheap. I think this head retails for it's either nine or 950 Dublin, Ireland. Hello, hello, Anthony, how are you? Mm. All right, what a rinse. Um, South Texas, almost like a whole separate country already. <laughs> Michael, how are you? Um, very, I would say, okay residual slickness, but meh, so. Tripoli, Greece, and Montreal, well, that's quite a trip. Okay, let's talk about the razors I've used in the meantime while I lather up for pass number two. So I used a couple, and some of them just for a day or two. Like, for example, I used the Gillette Tech Ball End Gold one. I think I used that for a day or two. Um, and then I moved on to the Yaki Slant because the person I had lent it to, which was actually almost a year ago, we had both kind of lent each other razors and kind of forgotten about them. So I shipped back his, um, it was a West Coast shaving head, and he shipped back the Yaki Sled. And that Yaki Sled is described as quite aggressive. And that is true, but it's also, <laughs> it's weird. It's quite aggressive, but it doesn't feel like really dangerous in use, but you can still feel quite a lot of blade on your skin. So I used that for a couple of days. Just because I hadn't had it in the house for, for so long, it was like, you know, well, welcoming back an old friend, you know, ta-da, here you are. Um, very, very close shaves, very close shaves. But there are those moments with that razor where you just feel like, yeah, that is more on the efficiency side than the comfort side. And really, what I would prefer out of these shaves is more on the comfort than the efficiency side. You can make up for a lack of efficiency with a little bit extra shaving, but if it's too efficient, you start creating problems for your skin. Well, you've all been there, you know what happens. All right, pass number two. I have not seen this razor in use. I'm not sure who else has been shaving with this or if this is a, maybe this is a popular, popular option from Yaki, I don't know. But I will say this. I may well be buying a second version of this head. I may be going for the gunmetal and pair that with this red handle because honestly, I have been getting excellent shaves out of this. And also, a shocking number of shaves off that half blade. So that's a super iridium. The last, before I, this second half, that first half, I think I got at least 12 and maybe 15 shaves out of. So. You're talking, let's say, 20 to 30 shaves off a blade, and I have 700 blades. Somebody asked last time, by the way, the which we said the aggressive slant, Keith, do you mean the, the Yaki slant? Because if so, yes, I was just shaving with that not too long ago. As you can see, this lather, by the way, does not really Doesn't really hold up, doesn't really stay solid for a while. Slick enough, it definitely gets the job done, but it is exactly what you would think it is. Okay, so one of the other razors I used, 
was uh, fender hand mixed comb. So it's open comb on one side, safety bar, solid safety bar on the other. Ciao, that looks like Roberto Rovello. Tim's power for a lasting ladder, something like that. Um, yeah, Keith, so I was just talking about the Yaki sled. That is, that is a very aggressive razor, but it's aggressive in the sense that it is really efficient. You can feel the blade really on your skin. I had to, Jeffrey. I'll get back my haircut in just a minute. Um, for Keith, the, the Yaki sled is a very efficient razor that really, um, really puts the blade on your skin, but with more control than you might think when you kind of look at it, when you first feel when you're shaving with it. Um, it isn't one of those aggressive razors where you feel like the blade edge is just sort of out of control. And in fact, I was just gonna talk about that one. I was just shaving with the fender head, um, the mixed comb, which is a stainless steel head, but which is stainless steel molded, not CNC'd. And I think that's their, like, one of the only people that do that. Um, that head is a cool looking head and it's kind of a nice technological achievement to do the stainless steel molded. But that is also just not a very good razor head. Certainly not for me. It is, the, the blade lays in there really flat. There seems to be very poor edge control. It just doesn't feel comfortable in any real way that you use it. I don't like the way that feels, whether you ride the cap or ride the bar, just really not a great option. Um, so, but then I thought, hey, what the hell? I haven't tried this hockey yaki in a, quite a while. And I thought, you know what? Let's drag this guy out and just see. Maybe this was better than I remember, or maybe just as good. I'll just use it once or twice and put it back. However, I've been shaving with it for weeks now. Greetings from Canada. This is the Müller Rocca. Yeah, that's a nice razor. I don't have one, but I hear people really like it. Um, yeah, that Yaki single edge is, is absurd. It's kind of crazy how good it is. And I, I, I'm a bit of a loss to explain it because it seemed at first like kind of a one-off, like an experiment. But, you know, I gotta tell you, the shaves have been really, really, really excellent and I kept at it. Yeah, HD shaves, the reason I kept at it was because I like, this is gonna go wrong at some point. Like maybe this is just like the honeymoon period or maybe I'm just confused. Maybe I don't know much about razors. Rob, goedjes uit Nederland. Okay, I hope that all is goed is. The question is how many languages could I honestly legitimately say hello to somebody in? It's a, it's a couple. There's English and American English. Those count as two different languages, don't they? I think it's Steve on the PC. When you go to do your language selection, it says English, UK, and then English simplified, which I think is meant to be a joke for the US one. Okay, this is going to be the against the grain pass. Alles goed, alles goed, ook hier. Ja, prima weer. Lekker gegeten vandaag. The one thing I have to miss, honestly, from Holland, like the one thing I think about almost like that is the number one thing. If I could snap my fingers and say I want one thing from Holland here, it's not the coffee shop. That might be number two. Number one would be a really, like a spot on Patatje Orloch. Patatje Pindasaus or Patatje Orloch, one of those two. But Yeah, this is just, I know you can hear a bit of a buzz still. And to be fair, I am shaving a little bit distracted because I don't know if you guys know this, but we're live on YouTube. All right, let's do this side. Can you spell that out? Use that in a sentence. Which one? The Patatje Orloch? Ik zou vandaag op dit, op dit moment een duizend euro uitgeven voor een perfecte patatje oorlog. No, I'm too Dutch for that. Vier euro. Yeah, the problem with the shaving cream is that in terms of cushion, really none there.
And it's already happened, by the way, in the last two days. It's almost spring here. In fact, spring is coming a bit early and I'm already having, as is my wife, those sort of hot flare-ups of a bit of allergy reaction already. So I would normally, normally be looking for a sort of denser, creamier, more of a skincare style shaving, shaving soap right now, but I thought this would be kind of fun to put out there because I've done a bunch of these Williams shaves, all of which were great except for one of them, and that is Tim Sprower's favorite soap. All right, I'm gonna rinse. If there is any soap left in that brush, I'm gonna do a very quick touch up and just lightly in an absolute pro way, dense the razor. Um, that shave cream I think is from the Spanish and Portuguese markets, I believe, because if I look at the language on there, I know Tim, sorry dude. Um, although I will say Tim, the other soap I used for one day was that donkey milk soap from Les Ness, that French soap. And man, every time I use that, it's like, wow, that is still so good. Yes, this is just... This is just such a surprise. Razor is just excellent. I don't know what it is, just so, so much better than I remember. And just, I've been using it for weeks now. Not every single day, but on and off. Yeah, I mean, and it's quiet because, I mean, That is a extremely good, nice, close, comfortable shave. Now, to be fair, I would be probably getting closer. I might be doing a bit more buffing, but like that shave soap, that cream, it just becomes thin enough at a certain point that there's just not enough left there to really sort of have at it. I mean, normally speaking, there'll be enough residual, residual slickness from some of the sort of more higher end soaps where that wouldn't be a problem at all. All right, let's towel off. Attempt to get the soap out of my ears. Well, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, that's a $9 razor head. If you haven't tried it, and you know, there is the issue about the country of origin, and I understand that ordering from China now is just one of those things that has some positives and negatives. That's where they're made. That's where a lot of these things are made. And some of the things that you think aren't made there are in fact still being made there. So yeah, okay. Now, I had to order some of my hair where, you mean all this gray up here? There's always some shaving cream somewhere that I discover hours later, sort of. Okay, haircut. Let's talk about the haircut. I had to because it was so out of control and my scalp was having so much trouble that I just said, you know what? It needs, it is my hair. I know that it's actually just gray. It needs air, it needs sunlight. It needs some TLC. So I went in to get my hair cut and I told the person that, gets, that cuts my hair, I said, look, we need to go all the way. We're going back down, we're doing a buzz cut, a minimum of a one on the sides. And she shook me off. What over here? More soap? How much more soap can there be? That's gonna be gone. Oh my God, there's soap behind my ear. There we go. Whoever spotted that, good eye, as they say. Um, yeah, so I said, let's go down for a one. The Italian shaver, we would have never guessed her from Italy. That's, anyway. Yeah, Surov, nicely done, dude. Thank you for that. Yeah, I said, go for the number one on the sides, and she shook me off. She said, no, I'm not doing it. We're not doing that. Mm, we're not doing that. You're going to have to just, trust me on this one. So we went for shorter, and the problem for me is, this is probably true for many of you, short hair, very straight. It starts to grow out, you start getting some curls and a bit of wave. I have a bit of a cowlick thing that goes on here. 
no haircut 2020. I had an afro in college that was so huge you could see it from space apparently. I that's what I heard. Um if I didn't cut my hair for a year, the hair that I had before it would be I don't know half again as big. So this is just better for me and better for my scalp all around, but you know what? It had to happen. So sorry. I look back at some of those previous videos and man, my hair was just, just completely crazy. Out of control, as they say. All right, let's talk about the aftershave. That's a mentholated shaving cream. I ordered an Allen block from Maggers because I was actually kind of running low on one that I've got. And so I decided to pick up another sample, a second sample of the Floyd Swab. This is, I think, this is in my top three or top five. I absolutely love this set, and it is nicely mentholated. And every time I get one of these samples, I'm reminded about how much I love it. And at some point, I need to invest in another full-size bottle. This is, to the dismay of some, an alcohol-based aftershave with a big hit and a nice, lengthy menthol cool-down. Man, what a, just what a gorgeous, such a rich kind of old school, classic European barbershop scent. Mm. Um, Chris, if you're looking for samples like this, Maggard Razors actually has a number of aftershave samples. I think you can get Mirsol samples and Floyd and a number of others, and it's a great way to go so you can try out some different scents and see if the face feels what you're looking for. How much is a bottle of the Floyd? 18 euro in Italy? I don't... I think it's probably 20 to 25, something like that. Probably more closer to 25 for the full-size bottle of Floyd. I would pay a thousand euro for a full-size bottle of Floyd Blue. <laughs> That's a joke, I wouldn't pay a thousand. I'd pay 999. Yeah, so the nice thing about that aftershave is that one, the scent really lingers, really, really lingers and just is a nice, a nice kind of a rich, mellow scent. And I know this is gonna be crazy. Hey, Brian, how are you? Um, this may sound like kind of a crazy scent comparison, but there's something about the Floyd Suave. There's a slightly kind of a musky, not a dirty note, but a kind of a musky, earthy scent in there um, that reminds me a little bit of Barrister and Man's Night Music. I know people may think I'm crazy, but that, there's kind of a similar, similar depth to it. Under, under one, under one for what, Jens, for the, for the Floyd Blue. Another person from Greece, Scotty Spera, I hope you're doing well. We're getting close to the end for it today, but I'm gonna hang on for at least for another couple minutes. I'll probably do this like another 30 to 35 minutes, something like that. So if you have questions or comments or something else you wanna cover in the meantime, then yeah, please go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, that shave is done. I'm gonna do a brief recap in just a minute, but if people have comments, yeah, night music, it's really, I mean, people just, I don't know, it's got a bad rap, but honestly, that and Rhapsody both have a kind of a real depth to the scent there. Yeah. I mean, the Floyd, well, there's the Epsilon blue, but but the Floyd orange, I don't if I hope that hasn't changed because, man, that is just such a classic. That and the Mirsol blue and the Mirsol limon, those are fantastic, man. Those are just beautiful, beautiful aftershaves. I know they're alcohol-based and people have a big thing. It's either against alum and I just, I recently saw a thread on, on Reddit where a person was using and it's like, like just going crazy on the alum and then never rinsing it off. Like that's not how alum is meant to be used. Alum's not meant to be used every day unless you want to, but it's meant to be kind of thing where you can do a quick kind of cleanse and rinse of your face. You'll feel like a really clean feel on your face. It is definitely drying, but that's part of the astringent, sort of the, you know, it's, that's sort of how that works. It's not meant to be like sort of spread on there and then let that sit for ages and ages put it on there and then a cold water rinse. And for me, I know Surav I think does the same thing. It just feels, something about the feel. You just get a good feeling for how good your shave was. Man, that was just, God, that was so good. That, <sighs> I don't know what it is, but man, I am loving this razor. Is this gonna supplant my carve Christopher Bradley C plate? Yeah, that guy did bleach himself pretty much with that salt. It's a salt. I mean, you know, it's like bad. That's bad for your skin. And he'll recover. He'll be, he'll be fine. But still, for $9, that's an amazing razor head that I can highly recommend. I'd love to hear other people's, you know, impressions or feedback on that. I am really enjoying that razor. It's not going to supplant my, my top pick. But, man, 
it's close. Yeah, Surab, I don't know what it is about the album. People hate on the album, but man, man, I'm loving that. Um, yeah, Daniel, this is a single edge razor from Yaki. They still sell this head in, I think it's chrome and gunmetal. Maybe there's a black version. Um, I think one of them goes for nine fifty. The others are nine dollars uh, off straight off the uh, AliExpress site. This is paired with a Yaki a Yaki handle, but you can this will go on any standard handle. Uh, the blade in there was half, one half of the beautiful pole silver. And I have two hundred fifty of these and two hundred fifty of the Visimet. I've got a hundred silver blue and a hundred Voskhod. And if those things go for two weeks. Man, I, I'm not buying blades again for, <laughs> for ages. Yeah, I think what I would do, Dad, you may have missed the beginning there, Daniel, but I think what I would do is I'd actually pair this, I'd actually get a second one, which would be the black, um, the black head, and then pair that with the red. Yeah, discontinued. So I don't know if those, if the pulse silvers or the super iridiums really are discontinued. I actually bought from a online retailer called, I think called Visa Shave, visashave.com. I think they're actually based out of Morocco, but they ship through the US and they had excellent, excellent prices on 250 blades. I think I paid 49 with shipping included, 40 or 49. I think $49 for 250 blades. For those blades, that's really an, an excellent, excellent bargain. And those blades will last and last and last. Like I said, I've gotten out of half a half a blade between twelve and fifteen shaves, and I expect that one will probably give me another. You know, let's say it only lasts, you know, two weeks of shaving. That's still a crazy amount to go. So, really, really enjoying that razor. Now I'm going to keep keep with it after today. I'll probably switch it up again tomorrow. What I'm going to try to do is figure out for my special edition fat tip, which I dragged out again, what part of that was broken, and I think it may only be the top cap that's slightly misshapen. So I'll go through the whole experimentation round again and see if I can figure that one out. Otherwise, for that special edition fat tip, it's just the way I got the piccolo handle, which is a huge waste, but whatever. Furbo Blue, yeah, I, it's interesting. Furbo or the Epsilon, which of those two is actually closer to the Floyd Blue, the original? Which at the time, I did not buy a bottle when it was on sale from the Barbier di Figaro out of Holland, and they were actually selling it for a really good price. I'm kicking myself now that I didn't do that. So that's my piece of advice, my closing piece of advice. Don't hold off things you really want to buy. Life is short, and for all you know, one day they could be gone forever, and then you'll just hate yourself. Well, Daniel, I'm really glad that worked out for you. That leather tutorial seemed to be, seemed to be going strong. Oh, and Sorab, you can take some some heart in this that the alum tutorial in which I literally tell people rub this on your face and then rinse it off that has now hit a hundred thousand views so the alum the alum wars continue and will likely never end anyway I think I want to call it quits right there unless anybody else has like another dramatic outburst of some kind or questions to ask I hope you all really enjoyed that Epsilon Blue. Yeah, Epsilon Blue is very similar to the Floyd Blue, but I actually had a sample from somebody recently of the original Floyd Blue, and Epsilon is close, but it's not exactly that thing. Close. But then again, if you never had the original and all you did was smell the Epsilon Blue, you would still be getting an aftershave that smells amazing. So, yeah. Anyway, you're all very welcome. Well, unless there's anything else, I'm going to call it quits right there. We're going to go through a very quick review of what we use today because we should showcase the products that we use and love. Today's shaving cream was sent by Jacob, a longtime viewer. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, Tim, hope you're doing well, dude. And I will be, uh, I'll be sending you something, something in the post pretty soon as it goes. Um, this is the Ice Blue Lightly Mentholated, a very standard commercial shaving cream for the Spanish and Portuguese market based on the languages on the back. If people are able to get this in their supermarket and that's what you're using with your shaving brush, dude, power to you. I would recommend using a bit more than what they call the snurdle of cream, um, a little bit more and start with a bit of a dry brush because this is a very sensitive to the amount of water that first hits that cream. Um, I would say this is just a really standard shaving cream. Protection really quite light. Post shave is not a consideration with this shave soap at all. But still a very gracious gift and certainly thank you, Jacob, for that. Um, when will the next shave be? You know, I don't know. I'm doing these kind of when the mood hits. 
you know, something comes up and I go, hey, I should probably show people that and there's some things to talk about. So the brush is a work of art and a stroke of genius, combination by Stephen Joyner from Dogwood Handcrafts, who made it, and my genius idea for the brush handle shape, even though it's being mocked mercilessly across the internet. I love this brush. B7 Declaration Grooming Knot, nice and dense, jelly tips, not a easy kind of spreader, but a very dense, tight knot. Um, the Yaki single edge razor head, which just takes half of a standard DE blade on one of the Yaki handles. I love the fact they started doing these colored handles. Um, the colors just really stand out. Good night from uh, South Africa. Well, glad you stayed and had a chance to watch. David, thank you so much for, for joining us. Really excellent razor and for the price, a great choice. And then let's not forget our dear friend, the Floyd Suave. Oh, so good. Um, have I gotten the vaccine? No. We talked about it at the very beginning, not yet. We, our way our state is going, I might be in the next round. As an IT worker, you're considered part of the essential workers, but I'm gonna to try to sort of schedule some time with my wife together so we can kind of go at the same time. And then if anything happens, kind of take care of each other. We'll just see how it ends up going. Um, I don't expect to get it probably until let's say May or June, but on where I was going, but we'll see. I mean, it's accelerating here quite a bit. So maybe that, you know, there's a bit of a, a drive up and then we just go kind of flat and just really speed to the speed to the finish. Well, Tim, hope it goes great, dude. Good luck with that. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to see people are really getting in there. Schedules are working out. People are really getting in. They're getting their shots. It might be the Pfizer Moderna where you have to go for two. Easy enough. Johnson & Johnson is just one. Either way, whichever option you get presented to you, go for it 100%. All right, well, on that very happy note that people are in fact getting vaccinated, it's been almost exactly a year since we were sent home from work and man, what a year it has been. I don't think I really wanna do this again. However, you know what? Survived, getting J&J &J tomorrow. Good luck to you, man. Tim, good luck, dude. Let us know how it goes and hope that's, you know, that's once and done, so good for you. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves. Take care of the people that are around you. Take care of your loved ones, your family, your friends. Hopefully those are all kind of in the same umbrella, obviously. And otherwise, I will see you at some point later. It could be in two weeks. It could be in three. It could be in four. You'll never know until ta -da! a notification pops up and I return triumphant once again. All right, you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you all next time. So, And by the way, if you are joining late and you want to watch this, these go up just sort of as normal videos on YouTube. So don't worry. You get the chance to watch the whole thing all over again. So thanks again, everybody. And see you later. Bye-bye.